pain isn't always obvious. Because if it was, then my family and friends would have noticed. But they didn't or maybe they did, but they didn't want to speak on it. But please speak up and speak out. That's what my inner man was screaming. Because that demon called glutton had me fiending. And I wanted to change and I sought help from every which way and I cried out to God for help but my flesh was overpowering me to submit to my new master and I did on a daily. I couldn't even notice that my God in heaven was trying to help me but my spiritual eyes was blindsided from all this madness and sadness that I carried from within. Therefore, every hit of it, every taste of it, kept me coming back for more of it. Yes, you could call me addicted. Self-control? Hmm. Where is it? Defeated and damaged is all that I'm feeling. I'm killing myself slowly and it seems like nobody really seems to see it. Cause every time I finish my play to suicide, I get up and I fake smile and I act satisfied. My outside shines dimly while my inside is just battling. Cause see my suicide, you won't see me bruises and you won't see me bandages. But you will see lines in my body that make marks and stretches. And if you look close, you'll be able to see my sadness. Look deep into my eyes. And you would not see true gladness. But I bet you would catch a glimpse of my soul called unhappiness. Because see, my pain isn't always obvious. And I'm killing myself slowly. And it seems like nobody even noticed that I'm damaged. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for checking out my poem. Listen to my video. The poem that I wrote that you just heard was called Silent Killer, written by me, Jamaica Miss Anointed, aka Fluffy Mama. And I just hope that encourage whomever who feel that way, who may not be bold enough to even express it. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for me. Cause it's all about expression. It's all about expressing how you feel. Cause when you speak it or write it or let it out, you will feel so much better. And I know that that poem I wrote pretty much was, was my inside screaming of how I was feeling. You know, because I took my pen, I took my paper out and I just started writing and I spaced out, you know, usually when I write my poetry and stuff, I just be in a zone, just mm, 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 write it. And then I have to go back and read it and I'd be touched. Like when I went back and read what I wrote, the poem you just heard, I cry. Just like I cry right now because it just touches me because, well, that's how I was feeling within and I didn't express it verbally, but my pen and paper, I, I was able to. But anyways, I just want to share that i appreciate y'all for watching i appreciate it always please check out for more of my poetry that i will be putting up on here it's all about encouragement and if you feel any type of way and you want to express anything to me um dealing with this poem that i wrote you know please hit me up i'm asking for positive feedback you know, if you need prayer for anything, let me know. I will pray for you because this right here, what we're going through with the weight issue and the weight, whatever. This is something too that can pass in the name of Jesus. God can and God will help us. Even though it's just weight problems or weight issues. Still, it has to do with self-control. And we have that as God's children because it's part of the fruit of the spirit. It's up to us to use it. And evidently, I haven't been using it. That's why I wrote the poem. But in the name of Jesus, please forgive me, Lord, because I'm trying to be a better me. And if you're trying to be a better you, it's time. And know that Jesus loves you. I love you. And the love of the Lord. <laughs> and you guys take care. Bye.